In this quick tip, we're going to show you the power of a dollar sign to fix things in our formula so that it makes it easier for us to copy. So in this case, we have an amount of $10, a discount of 1, because that's 10% of $10, and a net amount of $9. Now let's just say that I wanted to see what the discount would be for $11. Well, I can copy the formula down. Uh, something's not right. If I go and I look at the formula up here, I see that it's A7B3. If I look at it here, it's A8, I want it, but it's B4, so that's that blank cell. I don't really want that. Now, what I can do is I can put an ampersand in front of the piece of the address cell that I don't want to change. In this case, I don't want it to change the 3 as I copy this cell. So I'm hit Enter, and we're good there. If I autofill this down again, we'll see that it came up to $1.10. I can do the same thing over here, and now I've got the ability to see how our discounts show up and everything all is working just fine. That works because the dollar sign doesn't get changed when I drag and autofill the formula. So the dollar sign can be particularly handy when you're getting ready to move the formula around and you don't want Excel to slide that one cell while it's sliding the others.